18th July 2015. Diamond Head are currently recording a brand new album. The band took a break from the recording sessions to give a rare performance in London. I took advantage of this to have a quick conversation with the band's guitarist and founding member, Brian Tetler, where I asked him for more information on uh, the band's forthcoming release. This month you are recording a brand new album, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the situation with that, this new, well, new album? What's the situation with it? Um, well, we just started uh, writing songs uh, in, in January and uh, We've been working on the material up till uh, uh, we went in on July 5th, I think it was. There was a studio in the Midlands uh, called Vigo Studios, and we've been uh, we've done about two weeks so far. So we're on two guitars and everything, uh, and yeah, it's sounding really good. We're we're enjoying. It. It's been a long time since we made a record. Uh, yeah, indeed. But, mm, but we've you know we got some material together, and I think a big part of it is, has been having a, a new singer. You say? Yeah. So that's give us an extra. Uh, a bit of fresh blood, really, and, and uh, I just thought it, we should we should at least try and write songs mm -hmm. with uh, with Raz and see what happens, and it's going great. And how, how would you yeah, describe the, his you know contribution artistically and otherwise? Uh, his contribution. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, well, ob obviously, I well not obviously, but I don't do lyrics, yeah. so I always like to work with a writing partner. I like to construct the music, and I like very often a diamond song will start with a riff and, and it'll evolve from there and I'll try and find other parts that fit the mood of the song and then hopefully you find a singer who can interpret from that point you know and, and uh, capture the mood of the, of the, of the song lyrically uh, and it goes from there really uh, and Raz was able to do that Right, and stylistically, how, what Diamond Head album would you compare these new songs, uh, um, the way they are taking shape? Well, hopefully, it will it will just sound like a Diamond Head album, mm -hmm. and I think, if anything, we we would like it to, to hark back to the original album, Inspired Time, Light to the Nations, because those seem to be the ones people get most excited about. Yes, yeah. I mean, our set is heavily uh, balanced with, with the first album, the second album, uh, we do we do one song of Canterbury, you know. Um, but I mean, it's easier said than done, you know. Just write another album like Lightning to the Nations because that album's become a bit of a rock classic, you know. Indeed. Uh, yeah. So uh, it, it's easier said than done, but we kind of got into this idea that let's at least try to make it sound like Diamond Head. What is classic about Diamond Head, rather than just say we want to be modern or we want to try and sound like this band or that band and, and, and just almost filter anything that didn't really sound uh, right, you know, because we've got you usually start with more songs than you need and yeah. you just start to pair them up and say we don't need that one we, that one didn't sound, you know, what does it sound like in rehearsal, you know, if it sounds good in rehearsal it's going to sound good live it's going to sound good on record and I think one way that you uh, were trying to achieve this is st writing the songs and recording them, you know, and physically being in the yes. same room together, exactly. as contrasting with the previous yes. couple of albums. Exactly. We tried making an album really over the net almost, you know, drums were done in America, sent over his files. Mm. A lot of bands do it these yeah. days, yeah. I, I mean, it, our situation became that that's the only way we could do it. So. This time, Russ especially said we should be in the same room, get that vibe, get the organicness of it, where mm -hmm. we, you know we're all there together, and you can hear what it sounds like. You can try things. You can say that that's good. That bit there you just did, you know, you capture mm -hmm. that. There's some magic happens. And also for the chemistry of the music. Yeah, there is that. It the chemistry. If you're in the same room writing them together. Yes, well we haven't done that for such a long time, mm -hmm. and it, it's a real shame, really, because I think that is probably the best way to get the most out of a band. I suppose, it, you know, a lot of bands almost don't want to be in the same room together, you know, it might yeah. cause friction, it might cause arguments and all that, but I just figured this is a really good band, everybody's a good player, why not utilise the fact that, you know, we're all available to, to record, let's, let's get in the room, let's see what happens. Um, 
So that's what we started doing back in January. And, you know, I'd make recordings. Raz would make recordings. We'd go away. We'd say, that's great. Mm-hmm. This should be twice round, you know, with a range and range. And I'd keep chopping and, you know, rewriting until I could do no more, really. Um, one uh, question a bit um, unrelated to the album. In 1984, you recorded um, an album which yeah. was never released. Right. Um, are those songs ever going to see no, I don't be recorded? Think so. No, no I don't come? think they'll ever come out. Because, well, mainly, I would imagine, uh, a, a little bit of uh, issue over ownership. Yeah. And, it, it, you know, whenever Sean's involved, things become a bit more problematic. So he's quite difficult to mm-hmm. work with Sean is so I for one am not going to chase that down and make it happen I, have, mm-hmm. I, I haven't got the energy or the will to get that album out mm-hmm. I mean sure if Sean wants to then I'll say yes <laughs> but I am not doing all the donkey work yeah if you may ask what, what was the reason why he stopped um, um, well we, we couldn't get him we were dropped by MCA in January 1984, mm-hmm. right? So our manager had, had built a studio in, in the Midlands where we live. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we were able to use that studio instead of, a, instead of it costing a fortune as it used to. In yeah. uh, he built a little studio. In we went. We started recording the album. Mm-hmm. Then he went to Midem in France in, in 1985 mm-hmm. to, to try and get us a record deal. Yeah. And he couldn't. So... There was no money coming in anymore, mm-hmm. so the band fell apart because no one's going to get paid. Yeah. Wages dried up. Okay. So we stopped. Sean went off on his sort of solo yeah. career idea. So, yeah. I ended up doing a band called Radio Moscow for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that, that kind of filtered out for a bit, or petered out, shall we say. Yeah. And then we got back together in 1990. And, and, and that Thanks to the Metallica, right? Uh, sorry? Uh, when the Metallica members uh, encouraged you to come together. Not really. Well, that wasn't it the was just a case of... Uh, it, was a, it was a publishing thing, and uh, Sean had got a publishing deal, and it, it, it could write it to do a new diamond in album. It, a little bit complicated, but it wasn't really... An, uh, the, Metallica's uh, um, influence really became the fact that they were so big and they were uh-huh. constantly name dropping Diamond Head as an influence. It, it seemed daft not to uh, utilize that. Of course, yeah. you know, we were kind of sitting back thinking, we, we, you know, we ought to do something really because we, we're being championed here by the, the biggest metal band in the world. Yeah. We should at least try and do some gigs or make a record or something and we ended up coming up with uh, the album Death and Progress yeah well pretty much that's uh, all I have that I, I told you it was a quick one um, does anything um, any plans for the immediate future apart from this forthcoming album and yeah anything specific uh, besides that well we, we're trying to get to a tour of South America but uh, mm-hmm. have you ever been there no nope, never mm-hmm. been okay so I think that's uh, seven or eight dates into October November so okay. it's not on the website yet, but hopefully that will come off. Um, but really, yeah, focusing on the album, we've, we've still got to do lead guitar, we've got to do pop up calls, we've got to mix it, it's got to be you know mastered, etc. Artwork. So it's a fair bit to do. That's good to know that you're working on but your yeah, yeah. I'm sure and many people are happy about that. Yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, Brian Tetler, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.